We mostly are living in different societies, with different cultures and histories. While the base of any country and its society stays the same, it's hidden in the ideology and perfection of well-managed government. For nowadays it's democracy, which allows freedom of speech, opinion, equality and rights for every individual in society, in exchange of responsibility and honesty from every individual. It does not always go the way we want, because we might like to avoid extra bureaucracy, not to pay taxes and do whatever we imagine to do, while we are actually able to achieve much more by fulfilling all of those things. We have to understand how it all works and why it all does. So, governments are mostly run by taxes and natural local goods that countries territory provides, which is pretty much the information and experience gathered throughout time. Same as stabilizing society, giving them their own cultural events, safety and protection. So only sustainability to government are taxes, which are paid by society. That means less people, less income, more people, more income. And they are everywhere, in the money you earn, money you spend, whoever you are and wherever you are, with some exceptions. As the governments are settled down to tested systems and amounts of bureaucracy without big optimization, they require quite an amount of money. So if society does not grow in amount, they are taking additional bylaws, rising taxes, lowering social support and so on, to gain some money. Only exception might be if there are any growing businesses or with sustainable production owned by government. Where do they put the money? Well, they mostly invest it back into society, providing us with hospitals, doctors, nurses, schools, education, teachers, police stations, policemen, fire depots, firefighters, roads, borders, supporting payments, etc. Obviously, they are also paid by this money as lawmakers and bureaucracy machine, which provides us these functions. Well, we can all go private, excluding government on all these functions, but that raises the price and provides less safety. And there are no guarantee that every individual in society will be able to fulfill his needs. As if private company might have high quality, it comes with high price, while government have to provide such services for free and about the same quality. So the private would have to go cheap, which is not good for business, right? That might give a lot of options for country to grow if private businesses does not try to raise with governmental businesses, but takes the extras over, for example, public transportation, export, import, logistics, research, etc. Governments try to invest some money in these kind of businesses to relieve their expenses in future, so they have more free hands to other options which are necessary by society. So that's how they attract people and gain some sustainable resources. Taxes. Anyway, the responsibility for all people included in this is extremely high. Holding everything to high standards and keeping on country running as it should takes a lot of effort and that's the hardest thing in democracy. Actively staying objective, critical, skeptical, active in society issues, politics and observant of country itself. It might take a lot of time but every second you spend for that reason might bring good for country's future, for the generations, your parents, your kids and others. Blaming the government, insulting it, and whining does not does just the complete opposite. Yes, it causes attention, but that's the easiest way to do anything. And soon enough, there will be a lots of people doing the same thing, and you won't be heard anyway. If you do not wish to help, then it's better for you just to obey other decisions, which is unnatural for human being. Running to other countries that have built these systems for longer time 
and more successful helps you to enjoy fruits of other society's labor while you are letting down your own. So it's up to you to take the responsibility to be part of society and get us all to new and better government systems that fulfills our needs. So as conclusion I suggest all of us spend time and stay aware. Research the options before voting for new heads of our government, pay taxes, stay loyal and follow up the bureaucracy machine. Take part in non-governmental organization and come up with optimization ideas, help your country evolve, because that way you can help not only yourself, but your neighbor, your family, your future. Remember, less the people in the society, louder your voice will be heard. Have a good argument and you just might be doing something wonderful for everyone included.